Hey guys, in this video, we'll see how can we generate the code coverage report from a Cypress end-to-end -end test for Angular application. Now, in my other playlist on Cypress, I showed how we can do the same for React application. And I mentioned there are two steps. Number one is to instrument your application code. And number two is to generate then the report using Cypress. Okay, so we have to follow the same step. The only difference in this video would be uh, the way we set up step number one. Okay, now I have already created a GitHub repository. Uh, and in here, you will also find the Angular application code and the Cypress code. Okay, so either you can decide to download this whole project and just have a look at it or you can create your own application and follow the steps that I mentioned in here. Okay. Now the application looks something like this. It's a very basic to do app. You can add to do, you can delete to do, uh, you can reset. And we are also uh, ensuring that, you know, we save these values in the local storage so that anytime you refresh your page or you launch a new session, if there was some to do's earlier, right? you see them in the new session as well okay uh, so currently this application is not instrumented and therefore when you do this this dot underscore underscore coverage underscore underscore you see undefined so step number one is we have to instrument our application so once we instrument our application we'll re revisit this command and we'll see if there is any change okay so let us follow the instructions mentioned in here so we'll start with instrument application code and the first thing that we have to do is we have to install ngx build plus module to extend the angular ci build process and instrument the code so let us copy this command as it is open your application terminal so let us close the existing session and let us install this command okay let us look at the next step then so it says now add webpack coverage config file with this name okay to cypress folder okay so this means that guys angular uses webpack okay and if you want to make any change to the way this is designed for webpack out of the box right you have to provide your own configurations so this is the name of the file you copy it and you can give it a different name but then i'll show you uh, where you have to set that name so let's start with this first so we have cypress and inside this we have to create a file uh, let's say with this name and we just copy this stuff now okay we copy the stuff and paste it in here let us look at this now so what are we doing in here so we are saying that hey the test file would be either of type js and typescript because as you know that in angular you know we write the source code using typescript so your test cases could be in javascript or typescript then this is the loader that we are going to install next and we are in here mentioning where the source code of this application is so the current folder is this right cypress so we are with the help of this directory name we are finding okay the folder is cypress so we go one level up okay which means in here the root of the project and then we are saying src so in your case if you are keeping your file somewhere else then accordingly you have to do so and then you know you can exclude certain things but yeah so let us save this go back to our documentation what is the next step okay now you have to open your uh, angular json file and you have to update the serve object okay and there are two things that we have to add so number one is this builder so let us open the angular json file and this is the serve object so this builder in value you have to change so i just copy this stuff okay and update this that's number one okay number two depending upon your environment you also have to add this extra information okay so we go to the same serve object and since we instrument the development code only not the production code so we put the extra webpack configuration in here and now guys you see we are saying that hey it is in the cypress coverage dot webpack.js okay so if you keep a different name so you just have to provide the different name in here all right so it's not mandatory to just use the same name so i just save it and close it so even this step is done and now we have to instrument the javascript file with um, Istanbul lib instrument for subsequent code coverage report now 
like I said, I mean, we are using TypeScript and Angular, right? But we, you can't load TypeScript into uh, a browser, right? So ultimately, uh, that those things are getting translated into JavaScript. And now since you have the JavaScript, so you can use, you know, Istanbul, right, for checking your code coverage. And this is what we are doing. So we are loading that instrument. This is a package. Now, usually you write this much, okay? But when you do so now, you get an error because the latest version of uh, angular it makes use of webpack 5 but this particular package has a dependency of version 4 of webpack okay so therefore you will get the you know peer dependency error now if you want to ignore all peer dependency when installing a package right in the new version of uh, npm 7 right by default npm installation will fail right when whenever it encounters the conflicting peer dependencies so therefore since it is going to encounter it let us see yeah so we got the error and it is telling us that hey you have to use these flags okay so let us just copy this complete thing and run this command all right so this is just one catch so got to use it all right and now we have to start the app so either you can use this command ng serve or ng serve dash dash open now if you say ng serve in the console you will see the url of your application which you have to navigate to but if you say dash dash open then it is going to open up in your default browser and now we have to use the command ng serve like i said hit enter this is going to start our application so once our application is started we'll go back to the browser and we'll check out for that underscore underscore coverage object right uh, that should get attached to the, this object uh, which is also called as the browser global object Let's go back to the browser, refresh our application. Uh, hopefully it should have been already refreshed, but let's see it. And now guys, this is what you see. So you see all your application files. Now your application is instrumented, okay? So inside source you have, so all these, all these files are inside SRC, okay? So our first step is complete. Now let's move on to the um, documentation so it says that you know if you want to exclude certain files okay for example i want to exclude let's say under src there's a main.ts so then you got to add this object okay in your package.json so let's open the package.json and add this thing as well okay so you can add it anywhere just make sure that you add these comma and all save it close this thing all right well, we'll revisit this particular statement because uh, I have excluded that main.ts. So ideally, when I show you that report, right, that file should not be there. But currently, there's a bug in there or maybe I'm doing something wrong, guys. If that is the case, please uh, comment below in the, this video. Okay. Uh, if you want to look at this, there is uh, issue number 188. So you can go and check that out. But then this is the solution that I'm providing you at this point of time, which will uh, exclude all those files. Okay. So now let's start with the... Uh, the cypress part so you have to save the code coverage collected during cypress test so this is the package that you have to uh, install so let us open a new terminal and install this command all right and then in the cypress support index.js this is the line that you have to add let's add that cypress uh, support index.js this is where you have to add that line uh, close it all right, so the next step is we have to copy this line, go to Cypress, open plugin index.js, and inside this module, you have to add this line, save it, close it. All right, so let us look at our package.json now. Now the command would be uh, Cypress open if you want to run that in the headed mode. If you want to run that in the headless mode, then you are going to say, see, why? let's say, let's give it this name, and we are going to call it cypress run right and let's add one more and we're gonna call it execute exclude file okay like so and in here let us copy the this particular statement so let me save this and now guys it's time to execute our test cases so we have to say npm run cy colon and run let's wait for this to be completed and once this is done we'll see uh, data under this coverage folder and we'll also have one nyc output folder created all right so it started so it has found four files 
as the name suggests create to do delete to do load to do and reset to do and these are the major functions that are there okay so yeah the folder is created in here let's see whether our test cases are done or not so yeah it's still in progress and now the last file is getting executed and yeah all done so now we have this data in here in different formats uh, usually testers are interested into html file so we open that so you see we have the coverage against all these different uh, files okay now uh, src in here you see main.ts so yeah the file is already there despite of the fact that you know we excluded that under this nyc object that we added in package.json and this is the issue i was talking about now to fix this particular thing right what you can do is uh, this is the command that we added right uh, what this is saying is you know it is making use of istanbul nyc and say hey report that you have to generate is uh, lcov type because this is what we open right in this lcov report we open this index.html now when you run this command what it is going to do is it is going to look out for this particular object which somehow the cypress code coverage uh, module is not doing currently so it is going to look uh, inside this and inside this you can set up different uh, configurations to configure your istanbul right so in here we are excluding this particular file now let us run this command and see whether those files are then excluded or not okay so we just say npm run and like so exclude file and we are gonna refresh that particular report again okay so guys we have got this now you see the main is gone from here and you already have it right uh, i'm not going to navigate through all these because i've already explained that for the react case so you can go and check that out but guys this is how you can generate the code coverage report from your cypress into in test for angular applications okay and before i conclude this so this is the to do for you like share and subscribe okay thanks for watching